Office Boy Builder here, and in today's exciting episode, we're going to be knocking down this wall. Good morning all, welcome back to the channel. I am just in the old kitchen area, and it is the 29th of December, for those who are keeping score. I'm going to be working with a plumber today and tomorrow, hopefully, to get the new boiler kind of put into this garage area over here. I'm going to be clearing away some of this, making a bit of space and putting that over there. Before I get the boiler on the wall, I'm going to spend some time just cutting, basically cutting the wall here, ready to then dismantle it and remove it. I can't take it out completely because we've got the water pipe. This is our only mains fed water pipe there. And I also can't take this out, this take this lead pipe out until we've replaced it. We're going to be doing all of this around the same sort of time, but I don't want to be spraying. I'm going to be standing on that side of the room, cutting the brick, and I don't want to be spraying the new boiler and the new cylinder with brick dust while I do it. So I'm just going to spend a little bit of time just very quickly measuring from here back because I don't want to cut this wall at all. I, I want to cut right in this angle here and take this out. So just going to spend a little bit of time measuring and then I'm going to set you up maybe on a time lapse, but I don't know if it's going to produce so much dust. You probably, probably won't be able to see it anyway, but we'll, we'll see. All right, we have a working garage now. I used my truck over there to pull this plasterboard forward. All I needed was an extra two inches and then I would have had a space. And I tried levering it, I tried moving it, all sorts. Couldn't do anything. Finally got the truck with a rope, pulled it forward a couple of inches, it was fine. So now we have a working garage, which gives me a bit more light and airflow. And what I've done is I have spray painted on the wall. On the left hand side of this is where I've got to stick to basically. Obviously I've done that straight off this pad stone. This is the depth of the wall inside the room. I obviously don't want to be halfway down the pad stone given that this is supporting all the weight above it. So I'm going to give the pad stone the full brick. So I'll be chopping on this side of the line all the way down. I've got my dust mask uh, ready to go. I've got goggles and I've got my angle grinder. And basically at this stage, all I'm going to do is literally just cut down that line. I'm not going to be taking anything else out really because we've got pipes and stuff on the other side that are useful. So it's just going to be a cut for now. That way, once the new boiler's in, I'm not going to be spraying that with dust and cement and concrete and all that sort of stuff. It just kind of gets a job done and out of the way for me. So you can see the cut that I've done. You've seen that in the uh, video. The rest of that will just pop off there. I don't really want to cut anywhere near that steel and it'll just fall out anyway um, because it's not dry packed in or anything like that. Once we've moved this waste pipe, we can move that over a little bit. That'll be easier. We can sort the rest of it out, but I've done a cut along the bottom as you might have seen. Cut along there and then this cut here.
see all the lights then? I'm gonna turn in, uh... Yeah. That's the idea, anyway. I don't know if the cut that I've done is enough, but um, I don't think the wall's especially strong. Just a very quick disclaimer here. I said I don't think the wall is especially strong. It's a completely non-structural wall. Before you guys watch what comes next, don't panic and think that I'm being reckless and dangerous and stupid. There is nothing different between that wall and any other stud wall, except for the fact that it's made out of clinker block. It wasn't supporting any load above it, there was nothing below it. It was a completely non-structural wall. Enjoy! Everyone clear and free? Yeah. Out the way? yeah. Oh, that's definitely going down. And safety 1 o'clock and we are done for the day. Saturday, so a half day. We've done all the big heavy lifting, knocking out, all that sort of thing. And I don't really want to... I'm not going to start any of the jobs now, I don't think. But I've now got access to under those floorboards there because there's a lot of rot down there, as you may remember. You'll have seen from the video, we were as safe as we could be. Obviously, we didn't have hard hats and things like that. But we knocked the wall out, made sure no one was here. We were talking a lot of the time. So, you know, fine, it's not necessarily building standards, health and safety, but we are DIYers. So we have a little bit of extra protection from that. But that is very nice. We also took this out. I didn't bother filming this because I didn't want the video to be super long. And frankly, it's just an aluminium frame. But that's now gone, which is good. So what I will be doing here is I'll be rebuilding this as a timber, timber frame wall. Just an internal one, so that concrete lintel is going to be staying exactly where it is. And I'll be building all inside this. You know, I'll clean, clean these little bits out a little bit more. These are the packers that they used back, back in the day. You know, now we use plastic, plastic packers. Here they were using timber ones, so that's a cool bit of history. We'll be clearing all of that. This is all actually really solid, where they've put down the extra layers of brick there and mortar so I might take take them up I might not I don't know we'll see but anyway I'm going to be building a timber frame wall here and I'll be putting a skin of OSB on the inside and the outside and making it uh, very very secure and solid and plasterboard and we'll get this whole thing plastered and the plaster will literally run straight over so we'll dot and dab some plasterboard on here and it will float over so it'll be a nice flat smooth wall. So I've got to knock off that bell cast there. Once that's done, that can all get uh, all get plastered, which would be really nice to have that done. And then the kitchen. 
you know, we can do the floor, we can do the kitchen units can go on there, all sorts of stuff. What we might end up with, because this is quite a wide wall this way, what we might end up with is just a little bit of a recess in here as like a, uh, on this part. I, I, I don't know. If I can, then I'll pack it out and I'll get it nice and flush. If not, it might be that there's just a little recess at that point. That could be like a cinema screen or something like that. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Also in here, where we've got this little step down here, I'm going to put, a, put two by fours the whole way along or across this way. I haven't decided which yet. So that we can put plasterboard the whole way across and have it flush. Because I don't want to have the step down for the steel beam. I don't want to see that. I want a nice flat flush ceiling the whole way across. The ceiling height's nice and high. I'm six foot one and I am probably the best part of a foot away from touching that ceiling. So I've got plenty of headroom to drop it down by a two by four, bring that down and then I can put plasterboard up there and it'll be nice and smooth. Cause you've got to, you've got to protect steel uh, from fire using plasterboard, go figure. Uh, so it has to run underneath the steel beam anyway despite having intermittent paint on it so that needs to get capped along there anyway like that oh look for those of you playing office boy build a bingo here's my right hand you don't often see that one that's two shots that is it's normally only on my left hand right see you on the next video Right, let's try again. Yep. Office Boy Builder here, and in today's exciting episode, and it... Office Boy Builder here, and in today's exciting episode... <sighs> That's you got your outtakes at the end of this. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Yep. Office Boy Builder here, and in today's exciting it kept... And in today's exciting... <laughs> Yeah. Office boy builder here, and in today's exciting e episode, <laughs> in today's exciting. E <laughs>